The restriction of natural behaviour for farmed animals is something I have concerns about. So I'm here at this RSPCA Assured Farm in Norfolk to find out how these farms address this. Why is the RSPCA interested in farming? We can't just neglect or ignore animals that are farmed. We want to do the very best we can to rear them to high welfare standards. What does that mean on the ground? What kind of changes do you bring into effect? On our scheme, on an RSPCA short farm, we have a comprehensive list of standards that our highly compassionate assessors come out to check. So things like the housing, the bedding, the veterinary care that the pigs are having. But what we also do is we look at the effect those inputs are having on the pig's welfare and their behaviour. So what is natural behaviour for a pig? Modern farm pigs have descended from wild boars and share a lot of the same instincts. In the wild, boars forage for food using their highly sensitive but strong noses and digging or rooting in the ground. The other thing that we do, which we have to ask the, the RSPCA permission for uh, via our vets, is to use uh, what we call nose rings on, on the mother sows. But the benefit of that for, for us is to it restricts the, um, it doesn't stop, it just controls the deep rooting up of, of uh, the ground. Pigs will root down oh, a foot, 18 inches. They're quite strong with their, with their noses. So the nose rings are designed to allow them to do their usual behavior but not to an extent where they can make such a mess of the field and the paddocks that they then cause problems for the, for the unborn babies. Because if there's loads of hills and holes in that hut, the piglets will roll down into the hole um, and then they can get laid on and, and get trapped. So we need a nice level bed. They are very social animals and sleep in groups, using vegetation to build comfortable nests. In the wild, pigs are very clean animals and they keep their eating, sleeping and toilet areas separate. And when it's hot, both wild boars and farm pigs like to keep cool by wallowing in mud and water. So for you, is this outdoor setting with an arc, is it preferable to a sow that's indoors in a yes. barren crate? Yes, it is. I think that trade-off of performance and production is, you know, it's the mechanical thing, just because we can do it, should we? This is a far more natural way of the, the pigs being alive. They're perfectly content up here, expressing their natural instincts to do whatever they want to do. Any animal that's not content in itself and happy in its environment is not going to be um, in a fit state to breed and it's just no interest to anybody, to them, to us, you know. So welfare is absolutely primary number one, always. One of the main differences between higher welfare pig farms and intensive systems is that a farmer is able to encourage these natural behaviours as much as possible through the design of their farm, the routine they follow and the enrichment they provide, allowing pigs to be their social, inquisitive, intelligent selves. They're a sentient being, just like we are, and they need to be able to exhibit their natural behaviour. For more information, go to rspcaassured.org.uk.